Parkour is it's a method of movement, uh, but it's also encompassed by philosophy. So if you are just moving, you, that's all you're doing, you're just moving. But if you're just thinking this philosophy, you're just thinking nice thoughts. So you actually have to combine the two for it to be parkour. It's new, it's different, it's a different form of exercise. It's not just running around, it's like, it's more of an art. And it's used for the purpose of chase, uh, escape or reaching an area, so you might be attempting to save your own life or to save someone else's life, so getting somewhere or to somebody or away from someone. Having a range of movements and, and having a lot of physical activity at this stage has a lot of positive carryover effects in later life. Yeah, like as I walk through town and things, I, I can see like everywhere I can go, as opposed to just going from one shop to another, I can see um, all the possibilities and rails, um, like garden edges and stuff. Yeah. Um, you just sort of see new paths and new environments. Well, one of the benefits has been that it is a mixed group, both um, you know, there's boys and girls participating, but there's also older kids. Yeah, like um, when I'm doing parkour, um, the space I use is often um, covered in litter and things. And it's a bit of a nuisance to train with all that litter. But also, it's like not good for the environment and things. So we often just, just pick up a bit here and there, do our bit, and um, keep our environments tidy, keep the walls clean. When, when we're looking around us at all these cool um, structures and things, we, we want to preserve them, we want to keep them uh, in the condition that we find them, but if not better, so that we can, um, yeah, just keep on using them. So while doing parkour, um, you become aware of the litter in your environment. So you, mm -hmm. you try to help out your community, um, not only not only the tra uh, spaces you train in, but also the wider community. And so um, we are really involved in weeks like Keep New Zealand Beautiful. So we, we really want to preserve the environment, make it nice. Um, there's all these initiatives of picking up rubbish and cleaning paint and graffiti off the walls. What you get out of it is a matter of what you put into it. The philosophy side of it, there's quite a few elements to it, but a lot of it is about altruism, about giving of yourself for a purpose, and it involves training for longevity, so not just uh, going hard for a period of time and then petering out or, or being too injured to, to continue but actually it's a, it's a journey, it's a, it's a life process. In parkour a lot of the training requires a lot of repetition, the movements are quite technical and because it's about a, it, because it is a journey and it's about solidifying techniques and having those techniques quite ingrained so that they're natural, uh, we do a lot of, of repetition to do the movements over and over and over again so that we, we get them and they feel natural and they're safe. Yeah, surfaces and um, materials that you're training on, uh, it's very important to take a look at them beforehand. And so you need to check those surfaces to make sure that you'll land on them without slipping. So because of what parkour is, the, the reach and escape element, that's what we incorporate within our training. Parkour is, is more akin to a martial art than it is to a sport because the actual uh, parkour itself is, is actually really done. Most of it is training for parkour. And so within our training, we try and incorporate as, as much of those elements as we can. So we actually uh, chase each other or, or try and escape from a location or get to a place with urgency. And uh, the other, other part of the philosophy is being strong to be useful. So actually training these talents and training the body to, to be of, of use to society whatever matter that might be.
park, oh, it's, it's really essential to get a, a good warm up if you're pushing your body because you're doing all sorts of things that are really unfamiliar and uh, the stresses that your body encounters needs proper preparation. So it includes things like the long term preparation which is your conditioning and short term or the day preparation which is your, uh, your warm up and I guess your, your physical preparedness on the day. Part of the reason why I really love instructing and seeing what these uh, people kind of get out of parkour, if you like, is, is that um, it seems such a natural way and, and an easy way for kids who are uh, of a video game kind of instant gratification mentality. Uh, it's an easy way for them to get into a discipline that takes time to develop. They, they see some of the things we do and they get really excited about it and they want to do it themselves. And very quickly they can see that it's not something you can do overnight or even over a few weeks uh, or months. And that it will take time to do it. But having, I guess, the examples right here before them, they get excited about it anyway. And that excitement does carry over um, to, to develop that culture of taking the time to build progression and build self-discipline and build creativity and all these positive attributes that we want in society. When I didn't do parkour I used to think of architecture um, such as like walls and rails and things as just directing me um, from point A to point B and you'd always just see a wall and think nothing of it but um, as soon as you start doing parkour it's the first thing you notice is your whole perception of space changes and you can start using these walls and these rails which used to be uh, limiters to where you could go um, and now now they act as like as the paths that you utilize to get from point A to point B and it's often much quicker. Um, yeah like it, it's I don't think I'm thinking I can't do this I can't do that because I've tried things that I think that I can't do and I can do them, so I know there's always a chance for me that I might be able to do that. But yeah, I, I certainly see them very positively. The movement and the philosophy is actually quite contrary to the way society has evolved to where it is now. There's a lot of sedentary lifestyle and inability to cope with situations, whereas because parkour has this very large physical element of overcoming obstacles, but within that there are these big mental barriers and fear that has to be overcome in order to complete these movements. And so through training this, not only are physical challenges uh, overcome and strength gained through that, but actual governance over mental aspects and emotional things, fear, anger and excitement can actually be trained and overcome.